Hello, hello, my dear friends, welcome to Into Dot Electronic Channel. And today, Uncle Misha will present you his version of Dim Bulb Tester. So, Dim Bulb Tester, as you know, is very useful when you are playing with old uh, gear, just to make sure the old gear is, you know, it's not gonna get magic smoke out when you are plugging it to the power outlet. There is gonna make sure that there is no short, a fuse, or bad capacitor if it's a uh, switch mode power supply or anything like that. So this is very useful uh, device, I think, and let's just build it together. So guys, but before we actually build anything, let's talk what we have here. So this is very simple schematic of everything. So first of all, let's talk about a, here our uh, main input. So we have lay, line neutral and ground. So we have double pole switch, which actually disconnect line and neutral together. So I decided to go to this extent just to make sure I have a little bit extra safety. So both lines will be disconnected just in case I will manage somehow to swap line and neutral. So then we have wire which actually connects to our um, outlet. So these depicts um, one outlet and this is another. So um, uh, our mains outlet which is going to be connecting lamp and device under test uh, will have specific position for the uh, lamp. So lamp for example going to be always on top. So uh, electrical current going to go through the lamp and then it's going to go through the device under test. And because this one is connected to the live, this is going to be live, that's going to be neutral. That's for device under test, this side gonna be live as well. And this gonna be neutral coming this way. So ground, because some devices may have and some devices may not have ground, but depends on how many um, uh, uh, prongs uh, on the mains uh, plug they're gonna have, two or three, and sometimes they're gonna be non-polarized, non so a line and neutral won't matter for this particular device, but in case they are polarized, that would be important. So here we are. This is very simple. This is our switch, um, two pole switch, uh, double throw, I think they called, and our outlet. This is top, this is bottom. Very simple. Now we just to have wire all this, um, and uh, let's see how it's working. So now to get it actually physically manufactured or implemented we need several things obviously we need some wires and i decided to terminate them with, with these spade connectors we need a switch so in this case it's a double throw but you can use one uh, single throw but just have to put it on the on the live um, wire so that's going to be black in this case we have our outlet one of them for the for the lamp another one for device under test now we have this thingy which actually gonna be holding the light bulb just like this it's a bit fiddly and that gonna go in here just like that okay so we're gonna keep it like this obviously we need a faceplate just to have nice and tight everything nice and tidy so this is standard out of the uh, store so you can buy it anywhere and they can case so I decided to go a little bit further than just buy it off the shelf thing I decided to manufacture into the print one it designed to um, accommodate um, receptacle but in in my particular case I didn't have this part this receptacle so I MacGyver something here um, <laughs> uh, MacGyver a little bit here so I uh, use what I uh, what I found so I don't have this anymore I use this guy it still works as a charm a little bit bigger hole so I already screwed in with some screws and leads are already connected a little bit to save some time everything is already pre-crimped and pre-soldered just again to save some time so our general idea, if you're gonna follow that schematic, which I'm gonna try to put right here in this little corner, and um, to actually manufacture, uh, put it every, uh, everything together. So we'll start from switch because this guy is double throw switch. So that means it connects this one with this one and this one with this one. So I would be able to disconnect two of them in same time. So uh, live and neutral will be disconnected simultaneously. So let's screw them in. So this is what side you choose for live, what side for neutral, doesn't really matter as long as you're not mixing them up. It 
it says load line so better follow the direction so our line is here is bottom and I actually like this sort of uh, way of connecting things that's uh, I think it's pretty secure right so this guy is not gonna fall out okay so now we have to connect the outgoing wires so that's gonna be for our load our load gonna be connected right here very simple Okay, these guys are wired. The grounding gonna be only for the um, main receptacle here. So technically, I can just create another, uh, use another wire, and and also ground this guy. But I don't think I need it particularly in this case. Maybe just to be hundred percent safe. Not gonna be screw it in just yet. So now we have um, this receptacle. So I prefer it to have. It's actually supposed to be this way. I prefer to have it uh, this on the right side, this on the left side, but it doesn't really matter. You can choose what you the, the, the any way you want. So now we have to use our hook up our grounding pin, which is probably gonna go here. I'm not gonna do this yet now. Okay. So because I decided to have top to be my um, um, uh, li uh, uh, light bulb receptacle so I'm gonna connect this gonna be for incoming sorry this gonna be for black wire so white wire gonna be coming out from here okay and it's gonna be f that's gonna be now a live or l for this side Oh, I just forgot to mention very important part of all this. I already broke them off, but this thing, there is a little connector here and a little connector here that has to be disconnected, has to be breaking off like this. All right. Okay, so now we have to wire up these guys. So now our load goes in here. Just again, make sure you disconnected those sides. So the small one is load, big one is um, neutral. But in our case, we are cascading this to the load on this side. Make sure it's all tightened. And our neutral goes comes out on on over here on this side just like so and the ground probably we can just hook it up right here a different screwdriver for this I know that's not supposed to be And our ground gonna be uh, secured right in here. Okay, so now we have everything is right here. So before we actually try to play with it, so now we have so now we have everything wired. Let's double check ourselves. So this is our line. Line goes to this side of the switch and comes out on this side. It is off right now. So uh, neutral coming from here goes to this side of the switch, comes out on this side of the switch. Okay, so our line comes to this side of the receptacle where the light bulb will be connected. It's gonna go through the light bulb, come out, current gonna come out this way, and gonna be 
um, in serial with device under test. Okay, so that's this wire. I kind of assume this is a uh, load for the device under test and neutral gonna be on this side and it's gonna go through the switch and towards the uh, main receptacle so um, looks like we are connected everything properly but before we actually try to uh, play it let's buzz it just to make sure we are on a very safe side for this we will need any kind of device which can test continuity. In my case, I'm going to be using this multimeter. In the um, continuity test mode. To have a proper test, let's just connect it to this um, main wire. And we're going to use, well, it's a bit crowded now on the table. So we're going to use those uh, contacts as well. All right. Okay, so I think it's actually mentions here. So this is live. Okay, it goes to this side. Okay, so this one is live. You're gonna connect it right here and start poking around. For some reason there is a resistance without... All right, so this is connected. This is disconnected. Checking. Now this is connected. So now we have live actually coming through the switch. Okay, let's check neutral. Looks like it's a bit oxidized here. Okay, our neutral is good. Nothing. Neutral is working. Double check that there is no continuity with the, with the line. Or load. Sorry, I mean line. Um, now, let's continue checking right here. So now when we are on, we have to have uh, we already connected to neutral. Neutral should come here, and that's it. So this is gonna be this outlet. Now everything of over here shouldn't have anything. Okay, let's check our load or line. I'm actually kind of mixing up my terms. I'm saying all the time load and line, line and load. I'm Please excuse me, but you understand what I'm talking about. As long as this is not neutral. <laughs> Clearly connected. Nothing else is connected. So now, when you plop your light bulb right here, like this. Okay. Cur current gonna go through the light bulb. And obviously gonna have continuity this way. Obviously resistance is a bit higher. Now we're gonna have continuity this way and you're gonna have a current coming to this two receptacle through the light bulb and light bulb gonna be doing current limiting as a, as a big resistor for example. All right so seems like we oh we didn't check ground just to make sure we are all good let's check ground. Ground is good as well it's gonna be screwed to the receptacle. All right Looks like we hooked up everything properly following our uh, little schematic. So now let's secure everything in place and let's just test this device. Okay guys, we assembled it fast and easy. Now I think it's look pretty neat, except over here a little bit hole. So our device under test, sorry, our light bulb goes in here. Nice and neat. Actually, before I start poking around, let me label this properly. So before we continue, I would like to put some stickers uh, depicting where the device under test goes, lamp and the on off, just to make sure 
you're not gonna poke around when this thing is on. All right, so let's do it. Okay, and now let's try to test it. So we're gonna connect or uh, place our light bulb or lamp, I call it, right in here. Okay, we're gonna power this thing up. I'm gonna connect it to our power outlet. Obviously, at the moment, when it is all powered, it's not gonna be doing anything. So now we have to connect our device under test. All right, guys, our first device under test is gonna be this 60 watt light bulb. This is 100 watt light bulb, this is 60 watt light bulb. So we're gonna have two light bulbs connected in series. So let's just plug it in. So this is clearly gonna illustrate the operation of this device. They're probably the safest way to test it. Okay, let's just power it up. Here we are, look at this, it's barely glowing, obviously, because essentially you have this combined light bulb with quite high resistance. They're looking neat, you can see the how the filament looking like. The 60 watt bulb actually glowing much, much uh, stronger than 100 watt bulb. Alrighty, so this is already tells you that it's working because uh, one of the bulbs, the current is actually going through is enough to 60 watt bulb to actually glow more or less and the 100 watt bulb doesn't have enough current here to actually glow at least to the reasonable degree. Let's power it up, shut it down. Okay, and my second device under test or test device will be this. Let me show you better. Going to be this realistic public PA amplifier, 35 watt solid state PA amplifier. Never actually powered it up before, so I don't know what's going to happen. Let's just see. I wanted to always make video about this device, but never tried. So that's going to be good possibility. Oh, this wire is really thick. Hello. Okay, it's on. It's on. Let's see. Nothing happened. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I, I hear the noise. It's actually the transformer buzzing. Oh, little LED. Oh, I don't hope you see this. Little LED, I think, is is glowing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, this thing is operational. Obviously, our. Oh my God, this wire is so thick. Everything is shaking here. So our device clearly is operational and nothing shorted, hence the light bulb did not glow. So guys, do you like my um, dim bulb tester? Yeah, I think it's not bad. I think it's turned out to be pretty okay, pretty compact and portable. So for example, you can disconnect this cable and that's it. You can nicely store it and cable or cables are interchangeable. I can, I have multiple devices which using this uh, same cable. So I can just keep one around, that's it. Not, don't I have this like, you know, connected wire and dangling around it. So yeah, this thing, this without the cable, this thing is so much more portable as well as my a dimmer box which I made before so yeah thank you guys for watching if you like some uh, some sort of uh, um, project video like this please subscribe to my channel that would really help ring a bell and like the video if you have any comments please uh, comment away I will be pretty happy to hear from you uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time stay safe and ciao